Hi everyone and warm welcome back to the August Monthly Water Tournament from SC League. Today we are with Propaganda and Killer Skrull. Propaganda over on the left in blue playing as the Berlin Command. And over on the right in red we have Killer Skrull playing as the KDA. Let's have a look at what Killer Skrull has down. We have some Spetsnaz heading into Oscar, no surprise there. So I have Clara pushing up from the rear here. Quite a good spread of units here. Book on station, a couple of commands coming in for each of these points. And some KDA Suchin probably pushing up this way. And there indeed will be the Book with its supply truck. Spetsnaz and Alf Clara here heading into that area. That's Spetsnaz OP, so that's anti tank. Got an Alf Clara heading up to here and one to here. Defensive ish positioning. Obviously, he will want to hold Lima. And plenty of units pushing straight into Zulu here. He's going in quite aggressively over at the other side as the game starts. Scouts down for propaganda. Defensive up here initially. Pretty aggressive out here, pushing out past Zulu. An Alouette heading out that way. We have a bunch of Berlin light rifles. Javelins, a Wombat, and a Milan 2, and Sapu's Flam going in here. Defensive positioning just to hold that point initially, obviously. And then we've got a couple of Javelins, or a Javelin of Milan, sorry, coming up here. Again, defensive positioning. Engineers, Dragons. Scout over here. Harrier in at the back already. And some light rifles heading up to this position here. So as it stands, looks like Propaganda is going for slightly more defense positioning, take Zulu, and then hold the outskirts of Oscar to push in later. Killer Squirrel being a bit more aggressive, going straight into Oscar, and pushing down quite far into Zulu, if he can get those infantry in there. That Harrier just flittering around the back there, but not doing a huge amount at this point. Obviously there's no choppers in. Here comes a MiG-23 though. Harrier is retreating. Mi-23, obviously, a better jet for anti-air combat. It has those longer-range missiles. Mi-23 doesn't get the kill, though. Another Harrier is in. Oh, this might be bad for the Mi-23, and the Mi-23 goes down. Very nice, and here we go. Skirmishing has begun outside this point. Obviously, Propaganda got there first. Getting to fire out at Killer Squirrel's units. Uh, Cav down there, firing at these infantry as well. I'm sure it won't last long. There's a lot of RPGs coming out towards it. Somehow it's surviving. They're all missing because they're stressed out. There we go. One finally hits. But they're missing a lot. Lots of fire coming in, but these are big squads. They're surviving at the moment. Gazelle rockets coming in at the back there. Obviously, they will mince these infantry. In terms of AA, there's the book in the middle, and there are some Strathers coming in now. So now Clara pushing around the bottom here. Good attempt there by Killer Scroll, but it has been seen off. Nice defensive play from Propaganda there. And you see a stream of units coming in at the bottom here, though. Here are those Gazelle Rockets. They should do some damage, but they only have a couple of rockets each. One squad dead. Do they have enough to fire at a second? Oh, the Strellas have arrived. They're deployed and they're engaging. One hit, one kill. They don't have much health, these gazelles. This one, the Strellas rockets is running away. Will it get to safety? A couple more gazelle rockets coming in as well. Plenty more reinforcements coming in down here. I see ATGMs, I see infantry. Up at the top. Not a huge amount of movement. Killer Scroll just in a very defensive position there. Does look like propaganda is just pushing up a little bit, getting those scouts into a better position. Perhaps thinking about doing an assault there at some point. At the moment, though. Our cows and foxes firing out there at these infantry. Propaganda, well defended at the bottom. Currently everything is neutralised. Strathers pushing up there, wanting to get closer to the action.
I expect we're going to see a build-up of forces for both players. Just looking at the top there. So the scouts got killed. I'm just leaving the camera on this. A little bit of skirmishing down here as these scouts push up. Wombat's doing a decent job there. Along with the other recoilless rifles. Plenty of fire support from the Akavs. There's lots more infantry coming in down here for Killer Squirrel. Just keeping an eye on what's happening at the top there. The Akav at the top is pulling back away from that point. The scouts did die. See the Spetsnaz OP engaging with those infantry in the middle there. And the Javelin LML. I mean, neither player has a lot at the top there. I do see some AMX 13 slash 90s have come in up there. But it's all about this infantry down here getting pummeled in the buildings. Scouts are almost dead, though. I mean, can you imagine a Burantino on that little town right now? Ouch. Any decent artillery would actually do a lot of damage there. MRS would also be effective. Not something you're going to see very often in a 1v1 tournament game. Unless it's Lathans and he's bringing in his Uragan, he does love bringing that in. AMX 30B there taking fire now from the ATGMs. The other units that were there have been cleared up. Here come the mortars. Three mortars at the back there. Laying down some fire on this town now. Certainly doing damage. Oh yes, down goes the supply truck. Good shout, and as the units try to move out the buildings in the middle... The Wombat can open fire. Unfortunately, it is now out of ammunition. But, nice bit of harassment there. Where is that Gazelle rocket charging off to? Over towards the middle. It's taking fire already, though. Trying to get some kills on Spetsnaz Gru. AMX-30, almost dead now. Obviously, those other vehicles were cleaned up by the ATGM. This could be that tank gone. Yeah, there it goes. Up at the top, a little bit of skirmishing as propaganda keeps trying to push in there. Some good fire support from the back from those little tanks. But obviously there's quite a lot in there for Killer Squirrel. It's going to take more than a couple of units firing from behind to get in. He's got himself nice and entrenched. Gazelle Rocket's heading up that way now. Going for the Alf Clara in the middle, I think. Really good use of those mortars. Look at the infantry here. They are taking damage. Good choice with the mortars. AMX getting hit by the ATGM. The ATGM is just cleaning up at this side. A couple of T-62s coming in as well now. KDA Suchin taking a lot of fire as they try and push across. Strella's over there at the back. Rifles arriving at the top here for Propaganda. He is definitely going to try and push in this point. Oh, Harry, a rocket comes in. Takes out a Spetsnaz Groove, but is destroyed in the process. MiG-23 is in as well. Another Harry, a rocket in there is evacking. MiG-23 is going for it. MiG-23 taking lots of fire. And MiG-23 goes down. I think the other rocket did get out. Well, Harriers did come in as well. MiG-21 HG bomber coming in for a dive bombing run. Where is that Harrier AA going? Swings round. Gets the kill on the bomber. Needs to evac now though.
There is a bit of a push on the top. There go the rifles. I think they're going to make it into the buildings. Fox is firing from the outside. AMX 13 is firing in as well, but AT Gems firing out at them. That's both of those little tanks down. I hear a jet coming in. I see another jet going down in the background. That was the Harrier destroyed over there. Harrier rocket comes in, takes a lot of damage, but also manages to do some, takes out the building. Some of that Harrier got out alive. But yes, that is the big building. The church in the center destroyed. That means that the ATGMs can't see out very far now. That's one problem dealt with. And the rifles are in the point. Two more AMX 30s turning up there and some pivads. Down at the bottom, no real movement from either player right now. Just a bit of harassment with those mortars. Everyone refocus their attention up here. Loads of fire coming in from outside the point on these infantry, but unfortunately I don't think it's enough. Those foxes are still getting taken out. The AMX-30Bs in range to engage now, though. Still a lot of infantry in that town. More reinforcements coming in down here as well for Killer Squirrel. I expect we'll see another push into that point. Well, these ones are going into the forest. Could go and meet up with those Alf Clara. All quiet again now. Plenty of reinforcements coming in for propaganda there. A lot of artillery pieces in, M109s at the back. Now it looks like there's a lot more red on the field. But I think there's a lot of cheap units such as the KDA. A couple of 152mm cannons coming in at the back there for Killer Squirrel as well. M109s prepping to fire. There they go. What's this firing at? The book, perhaps? It is indeed on the book. Oh, that's very close to getting a nice hit. It is stunned currently. Is this going to be a nice hit here? Oh, nice. That is a lucky hit. Propaganda will be pleased with that one. I'm sure there will be a replacement coming in very soon. Suppose Flam pushing straight back in here. AMX 30s supporting, but there's still a lot in there. Do you note know that there's a bunch of units here for propaganda as well, pushing up the middle? I guess they could come in and try and cut off the reinforcements on this road here. It's always a possibility. I don't think those Sapu's Flam are going to get very far into this town at the minute, though. Dribs and drabs at the moment that uh, propaganda is sending in there, and I think this is too much defence from Killer Squirrel's side to be too worried about a couple of squads going in. Good harassment in the middle here, though. Over at this side... Artillery pieces firing again. What are they going for this time? ATGM's firing out of there. Going for that T-62. Artillery is going straight for this town. Oh, with the mortars as well. Good use of those mortars this game to propaganda. Lots of harassment on clustered infantry. ATGM finally gets a hit on that T-62 and that is routed. 
What's happening down here? Interesting. There was a chopper out here, a recon chopper. It has moved. I wonder if that's its burning wreck over these infantry. If that's the case, then I assume Propaganda knows the infantry's there. Not too much movement in the middle. What's coming in at the back? Loads of infantry coming in. Again for Killer Squirrel. And artillery is firing as well. Artillery is going for... Oh, counter battery. Very nice. Dealing with those very annoying mortars. They are all clustered together. They're an easy target for artillery. Not enough to kill them though. Not enough to kill them. These units in the middle are fighting hard. Support by the AMX 13s. I mean, it's providing a great distraction, if nothing else. Artillery going in on those supplies there. I think another book just went down there as well. A second book destroyed in that same area. There's three M109s in now as well. Well played by Propaganda there. Means he can risk bringing in aircraft again. Bunch of infantry coming in towards the top there. Speaking of, here comes a carrier rocket attack jet. Where's it going? ADA Suchin at the middle there. Another book at the back immediately takes out or does a serious amount of damage to that Harrier. Artillery coming in on these infantry in the middle. I'm waiting for this push to happen. There's quite a build-up of forces here by Killer Squirrel. HE Bomber coming in here, going for these infantry, surely. Nice strike. Doesn't get a kill, but does a lot of damage. And gets out alive. Killer Squirrel regaining control of that central area, I think. Slowly but surely. T-55's coming in at the bottom to support this push. Look at all these infantry at the bottom. Four squads. What's the Av Clara? The MX-13's now retreating slightly. In the middle. This looks like the push is starting. All the infantry just moving out of there. One T-55 immediately goes down... There's a command racing in. Has it been seen? Can it be focused down? Command may go straight into the corner of the point here. Gazelle rockets being hit by the Strellas. That command has been peeled off. Good push here. What's happening at the top? Looks like there is a counter push happening at the top. The AMX 30 is pushing in there along with the rifles and some recon. Try and keep an eye on that while we're watching what's happening down here. Certainly a bigger force pushing in here from Killer Squirrel. Look at the hell arms moving in the top there. Must be to deal with those tanks. You see the T-62s up there. Here's this great push down here. Harrier anti-air jets coming in. Not really very good at doing strafing runs. Plus one currently to kill a squirrel. That command is right up there with those enemy units though. But I think they're just overwhelmed. This is looking like a nice push here. At the top, I can see the rifles are in the other town as well, but they seem to be having a harder time. Right down here, there is good progress by Killer Squirrel. A 
Managed to get a foothold in the point. AMX 13's firing down here, but there are infantry moving in there. Or recon infantry, I should say. Up at the top, though. In complete fairness to propaganda, look at that. He's in the point. And there's not a lot left in there now from Killer Skrull. I think he's not been reinforcing this very much. And the constant mortar strikes and artillery strikes have really worn it down. Rifles pushing in, doing a pretty good job with the support of the AMX 30s. Berlin Light Rifles at the back there firing in as well. Along with a command rolling in at the top there. Looking pretty good for propaganda right now. Back down at the bottom though. Killer Skrull is very much in this point. Still at just plus one. I mean, it feels like he's got more in here than propaganda does. Propaganda's rifles arriving at the back there. Plenty of flams finally going to go down here. I think there's too many infantry on them now. More reinforcements being called in here. If you ever needed some Harrier rocket attack jets, now is the time. Look at all those rifles and RAF rifles coming in. Now that's a lot of reinforcements. T-55s firing in from the bottom and one from over this side as well. That's getting hit by an attempt at an ATGM hit, but it did miss. More AMX 13s coming in down the bottom at this point. Up at the top. Propaganda is in there and he's in the point across the middle of it. Reinforcements heading in there as well in the form of lots of tanks, interestingly. Artillery coming in on this point. Trying to stall those reinforcements. There's that Harrier rocket I was talking about. Does come in. Not sure if it got any kills. Two T-55s have gone down. One remains. Command is dead. Looks like Propaganda is retaking this point. Well defended. The right reinforcements called in at the right time. There's another T-55 down. Looking good now. Propaganda down here. More KDA being rushed in. But I think even then he's going to be outnumbered. Up at the top. All those tanks pummeling the infantry in this town now. That is a lot of tanks. Six tanks there. One goes down. Artillery coming in against those tanks. Unfortunately, missing. HE Bomber coming in there. Good strike. Going for the command at the back. Should get a kill. Does indeed get the kill. Was plus one to propaganda. We'll now go back to neutralize. Down here at the bottom. They're fighting tooth and nail for this point, but I'm pretty sure propaganda has it. Question is. Can propaganda stay in control up at the top here? Enough to just hold on to part of that point. There's a lot of tanks coming in. Harrier anti-air just got destroyed in the middle of the map. This is like a wall of red over that side, doesn't it? Light rifles have arrived with a the recoilless. They will help against the tanks. AMX-30 trying to support. This is probably the bigger threat, the hell arm at the back here. If it can get some decent shots off. It is currently under fire by the KDA in the middle here though. Down at the bottom. Killer Skrull still has infantry in this point, but that is the last squad and there it goes. Well defended by Propaganda there. He has nothing in this back point now. Everything was moved up. So it depends how pushy Propaganda is. Whether he moves to that back point as well. Over here. Abrams coming in. Bit more heavily armoured than the AMX-30. ADA pushing up. That. Abrams needs to be careful. It's currently side on. 
There we go, it is turning. Not so bad if it takes hits to the front armor. Anyhow, that AMX, 9 front armor compared to the Abrams, which has 17. That's a big chunk of difference. You know, propaganda is kind of holding on here. I thought those tanks were going to make more of a mess. But they're surviving. I think those standard rifles would have been very helpful because they do have the Law 80. He's just holding on in there with the support of that tank. M1 IP being pulled back. Recallless rifle, light rifles. Do just get out of that vehicle in time. Kill the squirrel building up for another push down the bottom here. Through that forest with a lot of pioneers. Wow. Artillery coming in in that area to try and clear it of infantry. This is quite amusing because this is exactly what Propaganda did earlier. He sent some infantry squads up the middle a bit and really caused a lot of distraction. That's exactly what's happening here. AMX-30B command tank coming in now. Obviously it's been spotted because it's firing at those units. Propaganda still has infantry alive in this point. They are not going to survive that though. Mortars coming in on that area as well now, though. The infantry in these buildings are taking a hammering this game. Let's have a quick zoom out properly. Both players looking thin on the ground. I will not be surprised if kills and losses are pretty tight this game. Counter battery fire against Killer Squirrel there. D20, just to say surviving that. Wait, did one go down? No, no, they are both still alive. They are basically on top of each other. Good counter battery, though, from Propaganda. Command is back in that top point for Propaganda. Back to plus one. Thirteen minutes left of this game. It's going to be a small lead soon for Propaganda. Look at all the fire coming in on those infantry. They are getting absolutely pummeled. Mortars have been doing a really good job this game. Just keeping an eye on the bottom of the map there as well. Because eventually all those infantry are going to push in from the forest. I think... Propaganda is going to have managed to push Killer Skrull out the side of this point soon. He just doesn't have many infantry of his own there. So he can't really take the point at the moment. He's just able to fire in from the back. T-62 is moving in for a kill on that command. That thing needs to run. It's going to take a side shot soon. T-62 is chasing it down. Alarm taking off to engage those tanks. That is the luckiest AMX-30 command I've ever seen. Rover Milan's engaging on those T-62s now. Alarm unfortunately not faring so well. Strellas were in position for it. But the Milan's seem to be doing the business. Wombat's being dropped off now as well. More RAF rifles coming in. Down at the bottom. Still no movement being made yet. Propaganda pushing back through the middle with infantry too. Oh, RAF rifles. One squad dies in its vehicle. The squad manages to deploy. Artillery coming in on the centre now. I think Propaganda is accidentally artillerying his own infantry there. Wombat's firing from the back here. Artillery coming in against that command tank. Not the most accurate, but all it needs is one really good hit.
down at the bottom. Still no real movement. Still artillery and stuff being hitting that side. Just a line of infantry waiting to go in. Still plus one to propaganda. It's a slow victory, but he will get a victory. HE bombers coming in. Two of them. Taking a lot of fire from the pivads. That's an attempt on that command tank again. And one got the wombat. Another HE bomber coming in again for the command. Good strike, but doesn't get the command. AMX 30s going up against the T62s. Book engaging in a harrier down at the bottom of that. Are these. Oh wow, the infantry are finally on the move down here. Pioneers forcing their way into the point. Is there a command there? There is a command infantry. Currently it is neutralised though. The command must have died at the top. Oh no, it's just been moved out of the point. It will be moved back in momentarily. Good defence here by Propaganda. What's he got coming in? Rocket attack. Good choice. Nice. Loads of kills. That Harrier rocket attack may have just gained itself MVP. MI-8 MT rocket attack firing across the ground through buildings and the forest. Rocket attack going for it now though. Harrier doesn't quite manage to hit the mark. Still plus one currently to propaganda. Eight minutes left. Book fires at that Harrier. Doesn't manage to get the kill, I don't think. Does a lot of damage, though. Propaganda hanging in at the top here. More infantry being dropped off. That command's still in there. MiG-21 HE bomber coming in. HE bomber going for the command, I'm sure. Good hit, but doesn't get the kill. Really good hit, but does not get the kill. Still plus one. It'll be 43 minutes to the victory at this rate. Eight minutes left. He'll still have the win on points. Another KDA commander coming in at the bottom there, but there's plenty of defense. Surely that is not going to get this point on its own. It's just not going to happen. Command back out and then back in the point at the top there. Down here, the KDA has been deployed. No, it's not even been deployed yet. The commander's just sitting waiting. How's it looking at the top for Killer Squirrel? Lots of damage being done. Another HE bomber coming in, going for that command. Pivads are on it. The bombs are being dropped. The command surely is going to die here. Command does go down. Finally gets the kill. And gets a row for Milan in the meantime. Down at the bottom though. I mean the point very much belongs to propaganda. The battle is at the top. HE bomber coming in. For the bottom there, is there any more commands coming in is the question. We spin around. Yeah, AMX-30 command coming in there. HE bomber drops on the M1 IP. Pivot being used for anti-ground duties here. Are certainly giving the KDA something to worry about. Abrams moving in along with some chieftains now. I think... Propaganda will take this point. I just don't think there's enough reinforcements coming in there from Killer Skrull. He may be out of infantry. Both players have lost a lot of infantry this game. And there's the surrender. Victory to Propaganda. Well played, guys. Really good game. Actually, I was expecting it to be closer, but towards the end, I think Propaganda just managed to take the lead. And there we go. 7,000 to 5,600 in terms of kills to losses 
pretty close. Well played, though, guys. That was a good game. Let's have a look at those kills and losses. Look at that mortar. Wow. The mortar did well. Tanks always do well. There's nothing really stand out there. Well, well played, guys. I mean, I think Mortar gets the MVP just for the sake of the Mortar getting MVP. I don't think that's ever happened before. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please do like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned. Tomorrow we'll have the second game from these two. I'll see you all then.